Errol, what obvious advice can we give to for people to secure their accounts? Maybe there's some tips and tricks that you got. Maybe there's some that I got. What we can say, first of all, of course, two-factor authentication, yeah? Steam Authenticator, number one. There's still people out there that don't have a Steam Authenticator connected, that don't have their phone connected to Steam. Why? Do it, okay? Please, if you get your phone stolen, if you get your phone stolen and you're too lazy to replace the authenticator, do it, bro. Do it. It takes seconds, okay? One Best thing you can do. practice is also to make an email account, first of all, two-factor authentication on your email account, okay? Please, because the email is always the gateway as well to your Steam account, yeah? Email 2FA. Best is an email that you don't have connected to anything else, so people don't know what that email is. Um, you Maybe you use a, a, a password manager, yeah? All of those are decent options. Yeah, all of those are deep, decent options. Um, a secure SIM provider. If you have a lot of skins in your account, call your SIM provider. Tell them this number is important. Please make sure under no circumstances, put a little note on it. Don't ever send out any SIM card regarding uh, connected to this number. Very important because SIM swapping is one of the most common hacks ever. What else? I mean, this one should be obvious, but don't use some sort of computer emulator as your phone authenticator. Oh my God. Yes. Why do so many people have that? Don't do that. Best is also probably to get the auth on a phone that you, of course, don't carry around. Maybe a second phone, yeah? Uh, or even a third phone. If you have a second phone already in use for other things, no, maybe get one phone only for Steam. Maybe, maybe, yeah? That's a really good strat. No SIM even, like, associated with it. What else? VPN, if you can. Uh, uh, but of course, you shouldn't be carrying around your authenticator everywhere and logging into any Wi-Fi uh, 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 with it. VPN probably also helps in that regard. Is there anything obvious we are missing? Family view, very good point. You can enable family view on Steam. What does it mean? Simple. Family view means if you enable it, people cannot boot up your CSGO. If they try to go to your library, they try to boot your game up, it asks for a code, okay? And only with that code, you can enter um, CSGO API key. API key, of course, you can get API uh, uh, scammed. Be careful whenever you hand out your API key, whenever you enter it anywhere. Maybe sometimes, occasionally, even revert your API keys, just to be sure. Every time you send out a trade, make sure that the account is the right account, um, aka make sure that the account Steam creation date is exactly the same uh, as the person that you're dealing with. Because sometimes you send out an offer, right? And on Steam, you have the right account, but then you go to Authenticator, and on the Authenticator, it shows a different account, but, uh, you know, you just insta-accept it because you think, oh yeah, that's the right account. No, API scams get you right there when you've mobile confirm it. Every time, make sure that the Steam account creation date is the same. Not just on PC, on your Authenticator as well, okay? Change your password every every so often. I mean, that's a little bit more for advanced, but if you have, if you have iPhone, if you use iCloud, and you have on that device your Authenticator, disable backups because if you have backups enabled for Steam, for example, people can just copy your authenticator onto their device, onto their iPhone, yeah? And then it imitates your authenticator, boom. Yeah, they also get you hacked. So yeah, the, if they hack your iCloud, you're also done so. We, we can now mention all of the things how to secure your account. Please be very careful with scammers as well. That's something that's not as easy to just say, do this, do that, do that for security. No, for that, you gotta you gotta be aware of what a scammer looks like. I don't wanna show examples right now because then uh, they maybe see it and then they just contact you slightly different with a slightly different looking profile. But scammers, I mean, Errol, what, 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 can, we, when, what can we say about that? It's, it's so difficult to like, to say it in a couple of words. I think the best thing to do is if you're not sure, either just don't deal with the person or just ask someone who would know like ask in one of our discords ask on on twitch. twitter on twitch as well there's always someone streaming skins usually yeah um arrow always uh, uh, when i'm not live arrow is live you can always ask us is this guy legit and we will give you an immediate answer usually on discord if someone is messaging you on discord hey man i want to buy your skins uh no discord is 99 point I will just say 100. I will just say 100. Discord, always 100% a scam. Don't do trades over Discord because on Discord, it's it's hard for their accounts to get banned because Steam doesn't take it as proof if you give them a Discord chat log, okay? Um, there's some thought behind people using Discord uh, uh, to go around. And also, in my Discord server, there's a lot of scammers. In this, uh, Arrow's Discord server, there's a lot of scammers. Scammers are everywhere. Even on Twitch, you may get a whisper. Okay, hey man, I want to buy your skins. Please be very, very careful, yeah? If you, if you are sussed out about a person, just don't do it. Just don't do it okay if he looks sus to you he's he's i, I would just say 99.9999999999% a scammer okay 